let's just say if beer was drugs, those two beer would be meth. It can give me a headache within like 30 minutes. Hey everybody, I'm Alabama Boss. Welcome to another episode of Craft Brew Review, the 40 edition. In this cooler, we have some 40s. I don't know which ones they are. I'm ready to bust into it. Bush, where did you find Bush in a 40? Wait a minute, 32 fluid ounces. This is a 32 ouncer. So we still have yet to find a Bush 40, which pisses me off for some reason. Close to the unicorn 40 Bush light that I'm looking to acquire. Give her a go. I could ride shotgun on dirt roads with a cooler full of those bad boys. Like a week before dove season opens, just scouting around for dove fields. That's where that beer belongs, in between my legs, on a dirt road, looking for doves. What's next? Hell to the yeah. Now this is a 40. You see here, quite a bit more girth. It's just eight ounces, but look at that. Colt 45? Colt 45, original every time. Slippery when wet. Son of a Okay. There we go. Got it. Had to wrap my dick around it like an old ranch. If I had to get in a car with some people and they had beer, one of them had Bush and one of them had Coke 45. I'm getting in the car with the Coke 45 people. I believe we're going to have a better time. I mean, what else could there be, really? What is this? This is plastic. Ah, oh, steel reserve. This has got a wide mouth. It's plastic, too, which I guess is okay. It's 42 ounces. You could funnel the sh out of this beer. What if I like this? What if I end up drinking Steel Reserve all the time? Would that mean that I'm middle class yet? Well, kiss my ass. I like it. Yeah, I like that better than a Colt. You could sneak this baby in a lot easier than these glass bottles into places you're not supposed to have beer. And let's not act like we don't do that because we do, we're Americans. Ah, Talladega, you can't have glass bottles, but you can have a load of steel reserve 42 ounces. You'll thank me later. Think Alabama boss said, get this beer for Talladega. Steel reserve, 42 ounces, plastic bottle. Let's go deeper. I'm gonna get frostbite. Natural ice, yay. It can give me a headache within like 30 minutes. Natural ice. Ice brewed for a smooth taste. Is that what that means? Ice brewed? Doesn't matter, it's a humongous 40. It is a true 40. There's a lot of in here. It's good. I know it's good, it's good. Crisp, cold, refreshing. This is going down to the creek. When I say you're going down to the creek, you're going to a swimming hole where people are smoking uh, some old seedy, stemmy weed around their cars. Everybody's uh, swimming in a muddy part of the creek that's got metal in the bottom and you're drinking natural ice. That's where it belongs. That's where you'll find those bottles empty. It has to be a surprise. Bud Ice. Oh boy. It's a true 40. Glass bottle. I think people should take the time to critique these things that seem insignificant. I bet you didn't know that you're getting 42 ounces of steel reserve and 32 of bush when you bought them like that if you ever find bush. Bud Ice. This right here is not really a route I want to take because again, this is a headache. It 
if you're two or three beer in, you won't know the difference. Next up, what is this? I didn't think we could get Mickey's. Fine malt liquor. I'm looking forward to this one. I've never had a Mickey's. I want to smell straight up skunk weed when I open the top. Green bottle, I'm expecting. Hey, you're drinking dope. So a ton of people suggested Mickey's. It came from Cincinnati. Boy, I hope it smells like ganja. Up and smoke. I can't smell nothing. I may have COVID. It don't smell like dope. Why don't it smell like dope? In a 40, does aroma matter? No, it's in a green bottle, which is science. The people that suggested trying Mickey's, like where y'all from? Tell me that the area you're from, the state, something. Green bottle, don't smell like dope. Unless my nose quit working. Hey, these guys knows what they, they know what they're talking about. That's why they wanted me to try Mickey's. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. Will this give me a headache? I'm gonna get sh faced on this thing. Full transparency here. I buy more Bush Light than really any other beer right now. I like this beer. I like Colt 45. I do not see me buying the ice versions of anything. Let's just say if beer was drugs, those two beer would be meth. And I'm not doing meth. Uh, the Mickey's could have been first place. But I'm not gonna be able to find it. All in all, still reserve. Going to Talladega, getting in the pits, sitting in the trial, it don't make a shit. Six percent alcohol. It's forty-two ounces wide mouth. Everything I'm looking for. Whenever um, I'm just getting really, really hammered. Every single person that commented, "Try Mickey's." Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm Alabama Boss with Craft Brew Review and anything else you want to do. Have a go. Think it works? I think it works. <laughs>